Hello YouTube, it's Krosama. And here I have for you today is the High Grade Build Divers 10144 scale Gira Giraga. Uh, basically it's a customized mobile suit from the original Giraga, um, a, a Vegan suit from the Gundam Age series, and it's piloted by Doji, um, who I particularly do not like in the series. Um, but his mobile suit that he piloted, uh, including the one which was the, uh, the Zetas R, if I'm not mistaken, um, really amazing mobile suits, uh, amazing kits. Um, some parts of it is fairly, you know, dated. However, I think it really holds up well now, and uh, you'll definitely see that through this review. Um, so, what are my thoughts on this kit as far as like the um, the aesthetics and the way it looks? I think it looks very menacing. Um, I love the color. The blue looks fantastic. Uh, the yellow is a great contrast with the overall colors. Um, but yeah, I, I, the only thing I would say is I, I don't really care too much for the clear blue parts. Now, in the anime, uh, they actually become clear orange when he has that. Uh, break decal um, you know activation mode so I, I kind of would have liked to just go ahead and uh, paint these uh, clear orange but I decided to go ahead and keep it as is actually I didn't do any uh, hardly any kind of detail work except for uh, a little bit of paint here and there but I didn't do any panel lining at all um, You'll, you'll see throughout the video that there's not really uh, many opportunities for panel lining on this kit. Um, but other, other than that, I mean, I think the overall uh, artic uh, not articulation, but the overall aesthetics uh, looks very good. Uh, the base kit is fantastic. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and look at the details. So looking at the details on the head, uh, quite a lot has changed from uh, the original Giraga to this one. Uh, so you're going to see a lot of drastic changes from like the back of the head, the sides, uh, even the little, the little antenna uh, basically just has a little bit of uh, extra detail with this kind of pointing forward. Uh, but you know, overall it looks really fantastic and uh, no issues. And with the body, the body looks fantastic as well. Uh, the center part uh, is essentially a sticker, but I decided to go ahead and use some paint. Uh, so the paint I used was actually a uh, metallic blue marker right here, a little Gundam marker. And then for the little center part, I just used a black Gundam marker. Uh, and I forgot to mention for the eyes, I did use uh, some green paint. And uh, for the yellow, I decided to go ahead and use a little bit of a uh, Tamiya acrylic paint as well. Now the little teal parts is actually stickers uh, that I went ahead and used because I just didn't have any kind of uh, paints that I wanted to mix to get that exact color. Uh, so I just went ahead and used the stickers for those in the center of the chest, which I think looks fine. Uh, but the overall, you know, chest pretty much looks good. And then looking at the arms, the arms are fantastic as well. Uh, nothing really too crazy. Um, there, you're gonna have like these little clear parts right here on the elbows, uh, which I think looks fine. They're pretty sturdy, so no issues with them falling off or anything. Uh, much, much un well, unlike the uh, original Garaga, which had a lot of issues with the, uh, the little shoulder parts falling off. Um, but other than that, I mean, the hands are pretty much average. Uh, you are gonna have a couple of extra accessories. You're gonna have two different sets of hands. Uh, so essentially this one that is kind of just more of a, you know, solid uh, open piece or just a regular open piece. And then the other one is going to have this little like indention right here so that way you can go ahead and plug in uh, the weapons in there. And there's nothing really too crazy about the waist, uh, no stickers or anything. Uh, it's pretty much a very, very smooth surface. And looking at the legs, nothing really too crazy about the legs. Uh, you do have clear parts right there on the knees, as you can see. Uh, the only thing I've been having an issue with, this part right here has been fine, but this just does not uh, connect in very uh, you know, tight. So I'm going to have to go ahead and cement that in there, and uh, let me know if you guys have the same kind of issue. But yeah, this piece just uh, does not really clip in that, um, that solid. So, yeah, I mean, it's a minor issue, but, um, you know, it's way better than the original kit. Uh, and the feet are pretty fantastic as well, so I love the aesthetics of them. I love uh, the way everything looks, especially with the thrusters on the back. I think that yellow looks so good with the, uh, the blue. I think it's just a great contrast. And lastly, looking at the backpack, you got clear blue parts right here, clear blue parts right there, uh, and it looks good. Um, I like the way, it, I, I don't know, it kind of reminds me of Devil Man. Um, I, I don't know why, I just every time I look at this, I'm like, oh, it's kind of like almost Devil Man looking wings, but it uh, looks really cool, and I'm pretty sure the motivation that Doji had when building this mobile suit is essentially, um, you know, kind of selling his soul to the devil, because I think that was the intentions with uh, making this kit, is just... 
he wanted to focus on a lot of the, uh, the main points on here, uh, i.e. Uh, all these kind of like, you know, clear parts. Um, focusing on that, but also kind of just enhancing the overall performance with keeping the same aesthetic. Uh, but hey, it looks really good, and uh, I, think it just, I think it just builds on the original kit way more. All right, looking at the articulation, uh, nothing really too crazy. So this is gonna be on a ball joint right inside there. So you can get basically all the same movements that you would expect uh, for a regular head. And this part is gonna be on a little peg, so it can basically move around uh, like so. All right, now for the body, there's gonna be uh, basically poly caps on the bottom right here, connecting to the waist as well as in the top torso. Uh, so you're gonna get a little bit of an ab crunch right there, so nothing really too crazy. Uh, and this can basically move all the way around, twist left and right. Uh, so I think overall it does look, I mean, it, it does do its job. So if you wanna pull off some pretty good dynamic poses, uh, I think you'll be able to go ahead and achieve that with this kit. And looking at the arms, the shoulders basically going to be on poly caps uh, right inside there so they can move all the way around, up and down. Uh, right here, the arm is going to be just connected to the shoulder so they can move up and down, uh, swivel at the bicep, and then there's going to be two por por uh, parts of articula <laughs> two points of articulation uh, right here at the top of the bicep and kind of uh, more for um, on the forearm. So this part right here is going to go about that much right there. And then this one's gonna come all the way about that much. So pretty good, uh, decent range of movement. And then obviously the hand is going to be on a little poly cap right there. And then the uh, Vulcans right here, or I guess like the hand guns, uh, however you wanna call it, uh, these are gonna be on like a little ball joint so you can kind of move these up and down like so. And for the waist, he's gonna be on like little poly caps right here so they can move around. Uh, same as the back skirts right here, these can, uh, can go ahead and move around just a little bit so um, definitely you can go ahead and move this out the way whenever you're posing the, uh, the legs a little more, um, I don't know, kind of a little more crazy if you're going to go and push them all the way out or all the way forward. Uh, these, you know, these uh, front and back skirts are definitely going to be able to assist with increasing the range of mobility. And looking at the legs, basically they're going to be on like little poly caps right here uh, on the waist part and the little hips. So that's the widest that they're actually going to be able to, um, to move. Uh, but you get pretty decent range whenever it's moving forward like so. And moving to the side was that much. And then moving to the back, uh, almost actually, yeah, all the way to the back, even though the... Uh, the parts are just kind of falling off as I'm moving this around, but I, I just wouldn't worry about that. This is kind of me more roughhousing the kit, so if you're kind of being a little more delicate, you're not going to have as much trouble as I am. Uh, but overall, the, um, the legs are going to be able to move a back, pretty much back that much. Now also with the knee, there's going to be multiple points of articulation, so uh, this one right here at the top is going to be able to make it move about that much, and then right here, this one's going to be able to come all the way, and you're going to get a really nice uh, bend, uh, pretty much almost 108, 180 degrees if this part won't stop popping off. Uh, but yeah, I think this is overall good. Uh, none of this extra stuff right here on the, uh, the leg is going to be able to move. And then looking here at the, uh, the feet, these two parts are individual, so they can basically rotate side to side as you, you know, see, um, as you can see right here. If I keep this on, uh, but yeah, these parts can basically, uh, swivel back, back and forth. And then this um, part right here is able to go, go back and forth like so. So if you want to push it all the way back about that much, you could definitely do so, as well as all the way forward. Uh, not really too much side to side, actually no side to side on this part up here, uh, but these feet are definitely going to be able to achieve that, which you're, um, you know, if you're trying to do some kind of grounded, more uh, dynamic poses, uh, these feet will definitely be able to do the trick. And looking at the backpack, basically, these are going to be on little ball joints right here. Uh, so basically moving all the way around like so. Um, now this part right here can actually come out. So if you want to go ahead and remove the uh, clear pieces and then close these up, you definitely can. But, uh, you know, I, I, I just think that they look better uh, keeping them in. So if you want to just uh, go ahead and take them out, you definitely can. But uh, I, I just recommend just keeping the overall aesthetic like so. All right, so looking at the tail, basically going to be uh, connected by a wire through all these. You're going to have the tip right here, which is a clear uh, blue pre uh, yeah, clear boot piece. And then you're going to have 14 of these little small ones up until you get to about, I think, right, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Think about right here, you're gonna have 14. And then these, you're gonna have about one, two, three, four, five. You're gonna have five of these pieces, which are slightly different. I think they're just a little bit bigger. And then you're gonna have these two uh, slightly bigger pieces right there, and then this part right here. And then this part uh, basically just connects into the hand. 
All right, and for the whip, um, the whip I have mixed feelings about because if, if you get it in the right pose, it looks fantastic. I, I absolutely love it. But it is such a hassle to get it in the right pose. Um, the weight is just so shifted, and because it's just kind of like a little peg piece, um, it's just going to go ahead and not be very solid in the hand. Um, you really have to get it balanced and tight enough in the hand uh, so that way it can actually keep the grip. Um, so what I would recommend you using is... Uh, maybe some putty uh, around the actual peg part uh, or inside the hand if you definitely want to um, but just to keep it uh, steady or I mean you could use adhesive tape uh, however you want to use it this is me just kind of using nothing and just balancing it out uh, so it's definitely possible to go ahead and, and do no kind of uh, changes to the weapon uh, and still get the same uh, the same effect uh, but I would just recommend you you know using some kind of adhesive or, or some kind of um, I don't know, maybe putty or something to go ahead and widen out the uh, the little handle for the tail, so that way it can uh, definitely stay in one place and not be shifting all the way around. Uh, but you know, overall the whip looks fine. Uh, I definitely like it, and it's one of those weapons that um, I think is a little ridiculous. It's a whip. I, I don't know. Like when it comes to mobile suits, uh, if I'm in a close range environment, I, I don't really see a whip being more effective than like a beam saber or uh, many other type of melee weapons. But hey, you know, it kind of is what it is. So its main weapon is going to be this spear, uh, which basically can come apart on both sides, and you're going to have two hands that uh, two hands that can accompany uh, these weapons. Now there are supposed to be stickers that are uh, put right here on the uh, the green parts, but uh, once again, I just decided to use a green marker because I think it just would overall be a little bit better because the stickers will um, deteriorate after, t like the adhesive will not really hold after a long period of time. Uh, but overall, I think the weapon looks fine. And here it is with the spear. Uh, so I think overall, I think it looks fantastic. Um, very, very simple to go ahead and use. Um, if you want to go ahead and split it up, we can definitely do that as well. And then here it is with the spears uh, basically separated. Um, yeah, it looks really good. Um, I think that this would be a pretty cool melee weapon. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be more effective than uh, perhaps a beam saber or like a beam javelin or some of that sort. Uh, but I think overall, hey, it looks pretty fine. Um, I will go ahead and uh, definitely give it two thumbs up. And here's a comparison between the original Giraga and uh, the Giraga Gira Giraga. Um, basically, I mean, the chest is the same. Uh, the waist looks pretty much the same. Uh, actually, I think yeah, I think the waist is the same. Oh, well, actually, no, there's a different piece right here. So the front uh, skirt right here is a little bit different. Uh, but I mean, there's a lot of different parts on here. The the hip's going to be the same. The top thigh is going to be the same. Uh, but the calf parts are definitely different. Um, the arms look pretty much a little different. Maybe not in the bicep area, uh, but the shoulders do look a little different. Uh, the tails are probably the same exact kind of parts. And they're there goes another one of the, the leg parts, but um, I, I just think overall, like, look, there's even a height difference, uh, at least the way it looks to me is there. There's a slight height difference. Less, it's just the way I got kind of standing, but actually, you know, it's probably the same height. Uh, but yeah, the, the backpack's going to be a little bit different. The arm's going to be a little different. Tail's going to be more extended on this guy. Uh, so overall, I think, I just think this one wins in every category. Um, maybe... Maybe even the color. I love I love red mobile suits uh, probably just as much as the next guy uh, But honestly uh, the blue looks so so good and um, I mean the weapons are gonna be the same um, There we go. So overall, I think uh, I really do do think that this one's just gonna win the comparison uh, when it comes to this guy right here and with my final thoughts, I think the kit is amazing. Uh, yeah, there's a, cu a couple limitations with it, with the hip. Um, uh, but other than that, I think the articulation is very, very uh, good for even an old age kit that came out in, like, what, 2011? Um, so overall, I think the articulation is fine. Uh, the accessories, even though it's very minimum, I think it does what it does. Uh, you know, it's, it's the weapons that makes it kind of more menacing. Uh, the melee weapons are fantastic. And uh, even without the, the long range weapons, I think it's just a fantastic uh, mobile suit overall. So whether you're an age mobile suit kind of guy or maybe you're you're in love with the Build Diver series, I think this kit will be an amazing addition to your collection. Um, even with uh, the drawbacks, 
it's just gonna have such a good display uh, presence. Uh, but I do recommend maybe painting some of those extra stickers, uh, primarily for the uh, the spear if you can, and then some for the face. Uh, but overall, it's definitely gonna be a good rival for maybe some of your mobile suits that you do have in your collection, uh, i.e. the uh, 00 Build Diver Ace unit. Uh, I think this is a pretty good mobile suit to have alongside it if you wanna go ahead and recreate any kind of battles that they once had. So with that guys, that's about it for this review. Let me know in the comments below exactly what you think about this kit. If it's something that you really love and uh, if you've already built it, let me know what your building experience was like. Um, and if you are gonna go ahead and pick it up, let me know about that as well. Uh, but overall, I think it's a fantastic kit to have in a collection and I'm super excited to go ahead and add it to mine. Uh, but that's it guys, definitely thanks for watching and I'll be seeing y'all in the next review. Bye bye.